Welcome to Link G4X Training Part 40. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at our basic launch control programming and our PC Link software. So when we want to launch our vehicle at the drag strip or at an autocross or a standing start at a road race track, we need to make sure we have our launch control configure. In our basic format here, it's just going to give us a singular RPM limiter that we can launch at. And then when we launch the car, it turns off and we can find the vehicle is going to accelerate and go through the gear. So it's going to be very basic in the programming configuration. We're going to be taking a look at how to program it on naturally aspirated and supercharged engines, and then taking a look at how to program it properly on a turbocharged application. Also taking a look at programming our advanced mode for the rev limiting type features so we can change the way the ignition cut or the fuel cuts can be applied so we can get the desired result that we're after. We're going to have a lot to cover, so let's jump into our video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with programming a basic launch control limiter within our PC Link software. This is going to be needed if we want to go to the drag strip and have a consistent launch, or if we're working with a road race car or a autocross car and we have a standing start in a racing series, we need to go and have a consistent launch so we can gain the whole shot on something that we're racing against um, in our door-to-door -door racing. So there's going to be a whole bunch of reasons why we might want to implement a basic launch limiter. We're going to go through how to do that, whether it's going to be naturally aspirated, supercharged, or turbocharged you'll know exactly how to implement a launch limiter in these different types of conditions. Now, first thing we're gonna do is actually jump into a specific page layout that I've created for the launch control programming. We'll go here to layout, and we're gonna go down towards the bottom of the page under our option LC, that's for launch control. When we're in our page here, we find a whole bunch of things on screen. So let's talk about that real quick, and we'll talk about getting into our programming details. So we'll find that we have our launch control programming window here. This is our main window we're gonna be working in. Is going to be where we do the majority of the configuration and programming details when we're in this basic style launch control. We're also going to find we have some three-dimensional tables here that aren't necessarily going to apply when we're working with our basic programming mode. Um, specifically, the launch RPM is not going to be used. That's going to be in the more advanced video coming up here in the training tutorials. We'll find that we have our launch ignition retard. We could be specific in a three-dimensional table. We're pulling out timing on our launch control. Uh, again, we're going to be probably not looking at that in this video, but the launch fuel trim we might want to enable and work with this, but I'm going to try to keep this simple in this video um, and just take a look at some of the most basic programming and, and worry about these three-dimensional tables in our advanced video again coming up here. Now, we can find we do have our time plot open here. We can take a look in a data log what's going on with our launch control, so the specific channels and lanes within our time plot. We have engine speed, we have RPM limit, we have map pressure. In our next lane, we have gear. In our next lane, we have our driving and our driven speeds. So. Uh, this is going to be our ground speed versus our driving speed or driven uh, the uh, vehicle speed. Uh, we're going to find we have our ignition cut percent. That's going to be playing a vital role in controlling our engine at the limiters that we're programming. We also have our lambda one parameter here, launch, ignition trim, and ignition angle. So this is going to be housing all of the important data we might want to take a look at to evaluate what's going on in the operation in our launch control. We also have our parameters list here that's going to allow us to take a look at some additional data um, in conjunction with our time plot. So these two are tied together. And then finally down here at the bottom, we have our live data to take a look at. And we're going to be reviewing some of this here in this video so we can see exactly what's going on here. We find we have our engine speed. That's going to be our um, normal engine RPM. We have our gear position. We have our driven and driving speeds. We have our launch control status. Is it working? Yes or no? Is it armed? Essentially, this is our arming status, I should say. Um, is it armed or not? We have our launch fuel trim, how much fuel potentially is adding on our launch control our launch ignition trim, how much spark timing we're offsetting or what the commanded spark timing is going to be when we're going in and, and enabling it. We have our launch limit. This is telling us if that status is actually active or not. So the launch control status is going to be telling us if it's activated or not activated. And then the launch limit, is it actually turning on or not? Our map pressure is going to be taking a look at our map pressure reading, our engine vacuum or pressure. We have our boost target up here, wastegate duty cycle percentage. Our clutch switch is that clutch switch on or off if we're using that as an input. We also have ignition angle, that's our actual ignition timing. Ignition table one here, that's going to be showing us our table timing, so these may not line up depending on how much our ignition uh, launch control, ignition retard, or the commanded spark timing is going to be. Our ignition cut percent, this is very important. This is going to tell us exactly how much it's cutting in relation to how far or how near we're at our launch RPM or programming. So we'll talk about that control routine, how that's going to work. Fuel cut percent is an option for working with our launch control. I generally use ignition cut rather than fuel cut, but we have both up here to take a look at if we enable our fuel cut. Uh, we do see our ECT, our engine coolant temperature, intake air temperature, throttle position, which is going to be playing a role here in activating some of our launch control, and then finally down here, lambda. So now that we've covered everything on screen, let's jump into our launch control, 
take a look at our options. So launch mode here, we're gonna go from off, we have three different options. Single launch RPM, that's what we're gonna be taking a look at in this video. We have our 3D launch RPM table, that's more an advanced launch control, we're gonna be taking a look at that in the next video. And then the latched launch RPM, that's gonna be a rolling anti-lag function, we're gonna take a look at that and then in the video after that. So we're gonna be working in order of these uh, features that we're gonna be able to select here and just break them down. Break Thanks them. for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.